Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsitAutomation.com and today in this video we will be talking about working with HAR files in Playwright. This is one of the most interesting and essential feature that we need to understand how we can use this HAR file to test our application in even more better fashion. HAR files are otherwise called as the HTTP archive is a file format used by several HTTP session tools to export the captured data from your browser or by any other means. And these are very very useful information because it can be used to play back the exact same instance without having even the actual server up and running. So if you have a HAR file and if you want to play back using any of the tool, you are essentially going to mimic as if you are using an actual instance of the server instead of having the actual server up and running itself using the HAR file. So there are many use cases available to use the HAR file and one of the use cases to use the HAR file is this. So we can use the HAR file to mock the different test data combination by just modifying the captured HAR file data. And these are very, very useful while using the mocking of the data without actually hand coding it. So as you can see over here, so this is the actual application that we are gonna be testing. We are gonna be getting the request and response while we interact with the application itself. It's gonna perform a lot of API request sent and receive. And it's also gonna generate the HTML file, JSON file, images and stuff. So we can capture all this information and save it as if like a HAR file, which we can then use to modify the data and then we can replay that and see if that particular operation is working fine for us for our different test cases that we are going to be doing. So that is the actual use case of using the HAR file itself. So in Playwright, we can actually capture these HAR file using the command line as you can see over here. All we got to do is just use the PowerShell command if you're going to be using Linux or Mac operating system, you gotta be using the PWSH. If you're using Windows, then you can just use PowerShell PS, and then just you can use the file name playwright.ps1, and then open, and then hyphen hyphen save hyphen har, and then the har file name, and then the actual applications URL that you are gonna be looking for, you can then actually start capturing the HAR file of that particular application itself. That is how you do a capture of the HAR file from the command line. But if you're going to be capturing for a specific API request from the HAR file, you can also do that using the URL pattern, something like this. You can just specify hyphen hyphen save hyphen HAR globe, and then you can specify the pattern that you're looking for, the URL pattern. Then you can just capture those specific URLs alone using this particular command. So that is how you actually capture using the URL patterns in the HAR file. You can also do the exact same thing in the code, something like this. As you can see over here, this is a C sharp.net code. So we got to be using the browser.new page async method, which is going to then get the new browser page option. So you can see that we are actually using the new page instance method, which is going to be getting the browser new page options where we can actually supply the record har path and then the record har url filtering string pretty much like how we did with the command line we can just pass that over here we can also not pass that and you can still see that everything is going to be captured and then that's it that's how it's going to be captured you can also capture the same thing using a method something like this which is nothing but the route from har async method which is like recently released with the playwright's recent version you can see that you can just pass the exact same HAR file path over here. You can specify the page route from HAR options where you can specify the URL that you're looking for. And then you can also specify update is equal to true. So especially you use update is equal to true if you're actually doing a capture. If you set update is equal to false, then you're going to just do a replay, something like that. So that's how these things are going to be done over here. So that is how you do it using the method. And once everything is done, you also need to ensure that you always close the page async or the browser context async because if you don't do that, the HAR file is not going to be written in your hard disk because that is the place where these objects are going to be disposed for you. That is the most important thing that we got to be doing within our code so that everything works fine. So that's it. This is the theoretical aspect of the HAR file like generation in Playwright. We'll see how these things can be written in the code and I will show you how awesome they are. So this is the super simple code that I have already written over here just to demonstrate the Playwright's HAR feature, not like the other code that we have discussed before. 
but as you can see over here this particular code has got the playwright instance being created and how the browser context is being created and how the page context is being created and then how the page is going to be navigated and stuff that's exactly what this is doing and you can see that we don't really have our application up and running so i'm going to go and quickly start our application as well which i can do that using the docker compose app and once i do that you will notice that our application is going to be available for us over here so if i just open it and if i just go to the local host of 5001 we have our application over here cool so now we will see how we can actually run our har based test with the playwright but as i told you in the slide we can actually record the har in two different ways one is in the context itself like either in the page async contest over here or we can also use a method called as route from har async so i'm gonna go and talk about both of them together but even before i start doing that in the code over here i'll quickly show you how we can do that from the command line so now to do that from the command line i'm gonna go to the command prompt over here and i'm actually gonna type like this so i'm gonna say pwsh and then playwright.ps1 and over here, I'm just gonna type the command open and you can see that I have already typed the whole things over here. So it's just gonna save my time. As you can see, it's gonna be a save har and then the eaapp.har. So this is basically the har file which I'm gonna be saving. And then I'm gonna specify the glow path of the particular product itself. So I'm not gonna give that for now. I'm just gonna ignore this. And if I hit enter, you'll notice that it is going to again open the playwright inspector and it's also going to open the application under test. So I'm going to go to the product. I'm going to hit create. I'm going to say from har test and I'm just going to give the description and I'm going to choose any of them here. I'm just going to create it. You can see that the playwright inspector is really not recording anything at the moment because we are essentially doing a har recording at the moment. So if I just do a control C, you will notice that the file is going to be saved hopefully i think so because there is an error i don't know what has really happened so if i just do an uh, ls of the ea har you see that we have an ea app dot har file over here so if i just want to show you the particular file it's going to be ea app dot har and you'll notice that the whole interaction that we just did is actually coming up over here so which is pretty cool so we could see that whatever interaction that we did from the ui is being captured as an http archive file so that is how we capture things from the command line interface over here but if you want to do the exact same thing from the code we can do that from here as i told you we are first going to see how we can do that from the new page async method over here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to make the font a bit bigger over here so that you can have a clear read. So I'm just going to say new and I'm going to say the new browser page option. And then over here, I'm just going to specify the actual options over here. So the options which I'm going to set over here is going to be the record har path so this is the path which i'm going to store our actual har path itself like the har file itself and i'm going to do that in my bin directory so in order to do that i'm just going to use the path dot combine and the get directory name something like this so this is very very important that we got to be giving it over here and once we have that i am then going to give the name of a particular file and the name of the file is going to be slash ea oops you know what i'm actually going to give that in the dollar symbol over there and something like this and this is going to be ea app dot har something like this and then we also need to specify the filter over here so i'm not going to give any filter at the moment i'm just going to ignore this for now so i'm just going to save this thing and then if i try to run this particular code this code is not going to really run because if you want to run this particular code we also need to ensure that we actually close the page if not it's not going to work so i'm just going to do this over here so i'm going to say page dot close async and that way it is going to generate the har file for me and once i save this and if i try running it this code may work and might not work based on your machine's performance as well so i'll tell you what i really mean about that so while i run this particular test over here you will see that the browser is going to open it's going to run quickly and the test has been executed so quickly so if i just go to the bin directory so for doing that i'm just gonna go add the existing folder over here 
and so that I can just navigate to this particular directory. Playwright demo bin debug net7 and the file name that we gave was eapp.har so let's see if we have that so we have an eapp.har and you see that it is coming up over here so it has generated the whole file which is amazing so it has worked but i always see that while we try using it in the very fast execution this particular eapp.har might not be created so you might need to add some delay there so it's again up to you like how your machine is going to perform and that is one of the pro tip that i'm going to give you you got to be using this await task dot delay and you can give like thousand or milliseconds really it's like one second so once you give that it is just going to delay for a second and then it's going to close the page so that the hard file can be generated for you so that is something that you got to be making sure that, that you do that so if you don't do that it is still working for us which is very very fortunate uh, and you will see that there is this hard, fi hard file has been created for us over here this is awesome. So there is a hard file which is really, really going to make our life much, much easier. I'll tell you what I really mean about that. So now that our application is sitting and we could able to access this whole application that we just created from here, right? But now what I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to close this whole application that we are actually running over here completely. And I'm also going to wipe out the data so now if i just go and access the application you see that the application is completely down but using the hard file as i told you we could able to replay the data as well which is awesome so if i just go over here and guess what i'm also going to modify the data a bit and i will show you that particular modified data as well so before i do that let me go over here and let me try to run the test but while I try to run the test this time, it is going to just fail. So let me just do that. You see that the test is going to just fail over here. It says that the application is not running. So now that the second question comes is like, how do we actually make this thing up and running? And that's why, as I told you, we need to use the method, which is nothing but the route from har async method. So how do I actually do that? So the way I'm actually going to do that is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say await page dot route from har async. And this is the thing which is going to tell you that, guess what, playwright, you got to be using the har file from this particular path that we have, something like this. And then you use the new page option that we have got and over here you need to pass the route option for me so here you're going to be essentially telling that this is the url that we are trying to set and this is the path that you got to be really modifying especially but instead of giving the url at the moment all i'm going to do it is as i told you we need to set this update is equal to true so if you do the true which means it's going to be recording it and if i set this to false which means the playwright's hard file is going to start replaying for you that is what it is going to be doing for you over here so you will see that that magic is going to happen right now so once i do a uh, debug test guess what i'm going to put a breakpoint here and i'm going to debug this particular unit test and once i do that you will notice that this time i will see that there is going to be an application up and running you see that which is awesome right we don't even have an application up and running it's completely down but there is a application coming up and you see that i could get all the information pretty much like how i used to get it from the actual application itself you see that everything is working fine i could able to navigate there i could click the create button uh, and i could also fill the data as pretty much like how i'm going to be doing it over here guess what these things are just working for us so even while the application is fully down, we could able to run the test. This is happening because of the HAR file itself. And now, guess what? We can also modify the HAR file pretty much like how we do the mock testing, like without having an application up and running. We could able to just create a mock data and then do a UI testing. We could do that with the HAR file, which is the most interesting thing that we can do. So we can just go to, let's say, the uh, if I just search for keyboard something like this i think there are so many places where i have the keyboard there we go so you have you can see that it's a keyboard i'm just gonna say from har data uh, and i'm just gonna say gaming from har data and then there is should be a mouse i'm gonna say from har data mouse and this is a gaming 
from hard data mouse something like that so i have modified the data a bit over here the hard file has been modified and now if i try to rerun this particular record or debug this particular record you will notice that those data that we have given in the hard files are going to just populate for us over here the application should be loaded by now uh there we go you see that the page product and uh, it's a bit slower maybe it's because i'm not debugging it you see that from hard data from hard data with light and then from hard data with keyboard so it's all coming because we have the hard data there uh, that we have modified from the hard file so this is an amazing thing that we can do with the hard file of the playwright which is going to make our life much much easier so this is just a start that you can see that we have just set an update is equal to false and these things are working fine but guess what we can do even further options over here we can set the url over here and then we can specify which pattern of the url that we wanted to really do the mocking for example we can just specify the star star of the product and then we can specify for example the list over here so only this particular url is going to be using the hard file data but not the rest of the data that is how things are going to be even much much better if you just specify the actual or a specific url that you wanted to go with these are things which is going to make your life even further easier which we'll be talking in our next video while we start building our framework by customizing our advanced framework that we have been building all these days